Hey, welcome back everybody. This is lesson 1.1 1 .1, and we're going to start to explore value. Let's talk about what exactly is value. The volume of a solid figure is the space inside the figure. Okay. Take this box right here. Oh, three-dimensional, right? We got our length, we got our width, we got our height. We got our length, we got our width, we got our height. Three-dimensional shape. Volume is what's inside. How much can you fit inside the box? All this right here is what we're going to be looking at, volume. And how much can it fit? All right. Rectangular prisms often are referred to as box. A lot of times you'll hear word problems or you'll see word problems or you'll read word problems. They talk about fitting things inside of a box. That would be a rectangular prism. I know boxes come in different shapes and sizes, but we're going to deal with rectangular prism boxes. All right, let's take a look. Cubic unit All right. <clears throat> is used to measure volume. Units. Units are just an area of measurement. Could be feet, could be inches, could be centimeters. Whatever that unit is that you're measuring, using feet, inches, centimeters, meters, whatever, the volume is going to be measured by cubic units. Now, let me give you a little art lesson. Ready? We're going to build a cubic unit. Follow me. Start with a square. That's a two-dimensional object, meaning it's got a face, but that's it. There's no depth to it. To make it a cubic unit, what you need, draw a line here. Perfect. Draw a line here, perfect. Draw a line here. Last step, connect them. Oh, would you look at that? It's a cubic unit. Awesome. Each edge counts as one unit. Cool. Let's take a look. This would have a volume of one because it's only one cubic unit. So if that has a volume of one, let's look at how many cubic units this is. Now, for some of you who see shapes pretty easily, you can probably look at this and tell how many squares there are. Awesome, but I'm gonna show you a way to do it without having to see all of the squares. Check out your bottom la la layer, bottom layer is going to be one, two, three, four, going across. Our width is going to be one, two. And notice when I'm writing these, I'm just putting those little dashes. It helps me count. I'm going in between the lines. Notice I'm not going on the lines. Hang on. Look at that. See, I'm going in. I'm going in between the lines. I hope you can see that. All right. Who knows if you could or not. Okay, so we know how many are on this bottom layer. We know that there's four and two, so there's going to be four times two. There's going to be eight on this bottom layer. And how many layers are there? What's the height? One, two. Two layers. That one is eight. This one has eight because they're a perfect box together, and you can even count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight means that there are 16 cubic units there. And again, you can't see all of the cubic units, but we know they're there. How do we know? That one's puffed up. That one's up top. So there's got to be something underneath it supporting it. So there's going to be eight down here, another eight on top, total of 16. All right. Now, let's get a look at this. 
length, width, height, value. Perfect. Allow me to erase this right here. Okay. Length. I'm going to call this the length. I'm going to call this the width. And I'm going to call this the height. Oops, no, sorry. Height. Perfect. My length, my width, my height. Over here, it's asking us to find that. Length is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Width, how far back are you going? One, two. Finally, height, how tall is it? One, two. Height is going to be two. Okay, so let's think about what these numbers mean. I know on the bottom, I have five, and there's two rows of them. So five, and then I got another one behind it. So it's going to be five, another five behind it. That means it's going to be ten on the bottom layer. And how many layers are there? There's not one layer. There's two layers. If that one has ten, this one also has ten. So if we have 10 here and 10 here, put them together, 10 plus 10, I got it. My is going to be 20. And all I did there was figure out how many were on the bottom layer. There was 10. How many are on the top layer? 10. Put them together. Now, tomorrow, and going forward, I'm going to teach you a little multiplication secret and how you actually don't need to see them. You can just multiply. Oh, yeah, all right. You want to see it now? I'll show you now. Okay, here's what it looks like. Value equals length times width times height. Take a look. 5 times 2 is 10 times 2 is 20. Boom, got it. Let's look at this bottom layer down here. Down here, we have a bottom layer. Let's count our length. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. Width, how many we have going back? One, two. Finally, height, how many do we have going up and down? We have one, two, three, four. So our length is three. Our width is two. So therefore, we know how many are on the bottom layer? Three times two, or six. Awesome. We know that there's six cubes on that bottom layer. Question is, how many layers are there? We figured out our height is four. So what you could say is our bottom layer has six. And then how many layers are there? There's four layers. So we're going to say six times four gets us 24. Good deal. Another way to do it. Yeah, go back to volume equals length times width times height. Length, 3, times width, 2, 6, times 4, 24. Boom, volume. Talk about it in class tomorrow. Have a great night.